Let's take a look at this code. We've got a red LED with LED1. It could be LED underscore red. We've got digital in right underscore PB SW2, which is the right push button. It first sets red equal one, which turns off the red LED. Then it goes into this forever loop. Now it says if the right push button is pressed, then it's going to go in and change the color of the red LED. By the time you press it and release it, it's going to be at least 100,000 microseconds or one-tenth of a second. Each of these instructions takes a fraction of a microsecond. So when it gets to this line first, you're going to find the right push button is definitely pressed, which means it's a zero. Zero exclusive board plus one will be a one equals one. And while that's true, you get a while one here is going to stay here until you release the push button. When the right push button becomes one again, one exclusive board with one is not equal to one, and it's going to drop out and go back to the if statement. So so when we run it, it flashes it, it puts everything in the board. And when we go here and we press the right push button, it changes it to be on, changes it to be off, and does this cleanly. Press and release, press and release. This is what's going to happen. Done here is we replace their if statement with a while. And the while has a semicolon at the end like this one does. In these while statements, it's either while one is going to sit here or while zero and it's going to fall through. While right push button up arrow one, one exclusive board with one is going to give you zero and it's right away going to drop into here and then wait for you to release the push button again. Let's see what happens when we run the code and, and see what the effect of this is. So you can see right away the LED is not off. And if I push this, it sort of glows a little bit, but it's not really turning on and off as the other one did. So this is not the same as the if statement. Now, if we take a look at this code, it says while right push button equals equals zero, which means when it's pressed. So it should pretty much work the way the previous one did. So let's actually run it and see what this one does. So let's take a look at push and push button. Notice again, it's on to start. And again, it's sort of doing some weird stuff here. So it does definitely not work as the if statement did. Now in this version of the code, it says while right push button not equal to zero, which means while the right push button has not been pressed, it's gonna sit here. Because if this is a one, one is not equal to zero is a true statement. It's a while one, it's gonna sit here until you push the push button. When you push the push button, you got zero not equal to zero. That's not a true statement. It's gonna continue on into the loop. So let's run this and see how this works. And now, right now you can see that the red lid's off. I push and release, it's on, push and release, it's off. So this code here is equivalent to the if statement that we had earlier.